Hey YouTube. So I took a poll yesterday on Twitter to ask uh, what kind of videos most people were interested in. I kind of gave the choice between uncut videos, unprotected left turns, bikers, pedestrians, or um, I think that was it. Maybe there was one other one. But it was like 50% of the votes were for unprotected lefts. Uh, interestingly, but the people that left comments were like, why do we want to test unprotected lefts? Anyway, I'm not one to judge. Um, but I've got another idea. So I went out and bought one of these um, Tech Tech uh, laser range finders. It's got like 150 meter uh, range to it. Um, and I've tried it out and, and it works pretty good. What I've done is I've measured the distance from my stop location at this unprotected left to each of those oak trees that's in the median. So they almost act like little hash markers. And I'm gonna try to um, use those as sort of like distance markers, range finders, so that maybe we can study a little bit of the perception uh, on these left turns with this rapidly approaching traffic. And you could do the math on if the car is going 55 miles an hour and it's, you know, uh, this far away, uh, you know, this is how many seconds until it's at the intersection. And then we can play a little bit with the neural network perception, speed and timing required in order to successfully achieve this. Uh, I'm, Tesla, I'm sure, is, has done all this already, but it's just for us perhaps to explore a little bit of the perception and range, you know. Uh, so I'm going to try to put the drone up also. Um, and as a reminder, I am a drone um, part 107 FAA licensed operator. I am allowed to uh, use these on YouTube. Uh, if anybody's got any questions, uh, the drone is being operated by a drone operator that is outside of the vehicle and the drone is not being positioned over any people or traffic. It's kind of being uh, put over some empty property. In any case, let's get this set up and uh, we'll walk you through. All right, got the drone airborne and I've got a destination program to the left. I'm hoping that the car is not going to continue to turn uh, to the right. If so, it may be uh, a little bit difficult to get the uh, sensing to the left that we're looking for here. It's creeping a little bit, taking a peek. All right, hey, it's going to do okay. We got a car coming and it stopped right in the middle okay i just had to intervene with the accelerator there uh it didn't kind of go at an angle in the median that truck was coming and i tapped the accelerator so it did not stop in the middle of the road there um but it was attempting the uh, unprotected left there uh so that that was an interesting uh outcome had i not tapped on the accelerator there I think it was going to stop with the rear end of the car in the lane as that truck was approaching um, from the left. Anyway, let's try it again. All right, here's take two. All right, checking for visibility, creeping forward. I can see one, two, three, four, five. Okay, he needs to stop there. Right, there's a gap there it should not go for it needs to stop okay that car was coming way too fast right there he was going at least 70 miles an hour um so that was an interesting one there where that car was going way ahead of the speed limit and it was going for a gap that was perhaps workable if they'd been going the speed limit All right, this is take three. Um, at the stop line, I can only see two, maybe three trees of distance. And that first tree is already at like 63 meters. So right here, I'm leaning way forward and I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 trees. And I think I measured that 10th tree is in excess of 150 meters. So the, the range of this camera is advertised to be 80 meters, which is only like four trees down. Um, all right, there's a car coming. It needs to go. Okay, I'm tapping the accelerator and aborting to the right because of the way that car was getting out of the way because um, my nose was sticking out. Not sure what it was doing there. Um, it started nosing to the right that truck that was coming could see that I was kind of continuing to creep out into his lane as he was approaching. All right, let's try that again. All right. 
here we are again. All right, now it's turning the wheel very hard to the left. Interestingly, now it's turning back to the right. I do have a truck over here and I need to wait for that car because he's coming in this lane to the left of me so I can't really go any further left. And if you see, I'm right at the line according to this thing. If I look right outside, I can't see the paint. So in my rear view mirror, I can see that I'm just on the edge of it. So it says it's checking for visibility, but it's not creeping forward right now. I think it's waiting on that truck completely. But from where I'm sitting right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trees. I can see eight trees. All right, now that truck proceeded, and now it's sort of creeping out a little bit more. So it definitely, I think, was waiting on that truck. All right, there's a nice gap now, but it, if it goes now, I'm going to have to stop it because those cars are coming fast. But now I'm lined up to turn right, um, and the vector's going to the right, so I guess it's doing its little abort thing to the right again. But now you, you kind of can get a, a sense of where these cars are being picked up and maybe we can correlate it a little bit to some of the drone footage. All right, there's a wide open gap if it's gonna go. It should just go. All right, what's it gonna do here? I'm just gonna, I got a lot of large gaps. I'm just gonna let it go. All right. Very hesitant. I think it's lost. It doesn't know what to do. It's coming to the right. And I'm going to go ahead and take over here to get all the way over because it, it was just meandering. I think it, it, it rerouted and um, it, it just took a little bit of time. That, that speed of rerouting and indecision needs to be improved upon, of course. Um, I can almost feel it thinking. <laughs> Interesting, interesting set of tones there. We heard all sorts of tones up and down. Almost like it was the bad weather tone. All right, now it's creeping. All right, it needs to stop. There's one car and it's wide open if it wants to go for it, both directions. Wide open. Okay, now we're going right again. And it's gonna stay in the right lane. Okay, well, I can't figure out why it's trying at some times and why it's aborting others. So now I've got mixed response. It's been doing this since 9.1, I'm uh, 9.0, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and disengage and do a right on red here. All right, we're back at the stop line. I can only see two trees from my current position. The brake is kind of popping a little bit like if it's thinking about it, but it's definitely not going out near as far as it can. All right, slowly, slowly. All right, large gap. And it's going right. Okay, so even in a, in a simple scenario, it's going right there. Okay, it's choosing the middle lane here. And then it's going to the right lane for the reroute. Very slowly at 24 miles an hour though. Interesting on the reroute. It's just very slow, even though the speed limit on this road is much higher than that, it needs to be accelerating to the speed limit for oncoming traffic from behind. Okay. Let's see if we can get any different results here. I was really hoping to get a little bit more traffic um, with the drone up so we could kind of measure the perception distance uh, on the screen uh, against those trees. But now that I've taken a distance measurement on those trees, I can perhaps use a little bit of an overlay uh, in the future uh, when I put the drone up also. All right, we got a lead car this time. Uh, lead car is turning right though. Let's see if it does anything. Waiting for our turn, checking for visibility. It's definitely got some blurriness on the other side here. So I think that this this 
indecision on the other side of the road is probably leading to the car not feeling like there's a road over there. Um, that's the only thing I can consistently think of and some people have commented on. But you do see there are uh, other cars going over there. Okay, I'm out in the road. I've got to go. Okay. So that was a disengagement just for the indecision and I was starting to stick out into the traffic there. Um, I'm not exactly sure why it's starting to nose out a little bit more today than it previously has.